there, Fearless Gamers. Matt here for Fearless Games, and welcome back to another episode of The Joy of Painting Minis. And we're continuing on with our va winged vampire lord, and what we did last week, last time, was we painted up the horns with a little brown, gave him some gold trim on his shoulder pad, and cleaned up the green armor and gave it some green um, edge highlighting. And so now we are going to continue on, and we also painted a little bit of the sword hilt um, last episode as well. So we're going to continue on using the following paints that you see on your screen. And so let us begin. And now what I'm first going to do is is going to paint up the rest of the brown um, pieces that I want on him, which is going to be the bag and his belt with our next brown color. That way we can move on and be going to be real simple. We are coming down, don't mind the phone, we are coming down to near the end of this project actually, believe it or not, because there wasn't much left to do on him. But we're going to paint up this bit here, pardon the tip of my brush there, paint up the bag, keep in mind of, keeping mind of all of the recesses. We don't want to paint those. We want to leave those untouched to give the look of shadows and shades and all that jazz. And there we go. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to take the same color that I just used here and I'm going to mix in a little bit of yellow to add a little bit of highlighting to the little claws on his um, wing and the horns on his person to give it just a little bit of extra highlight. Then we can move on to the next step. Okay. And then so we go and put a little tip here. And one thing is going back to the old um, metal medium color that we used in the last episode. One thing I do like about that a little bit more than the um, than mix than just like say taking a silver color and mixing it with a um, with um, a non-metallic color is is last time I tried that I actually had issues with the paint like separating and chipping and wearing and like and essentially revealing all of that, um, all of the work that I did, kind of makes, basically making it, um, pointless. So I really like how this, um, doesn't do that. It, it gives you that nice, clean, metallic look, and there's no, the, there's no, um, imperfections, there's no, like, color swirls or anything like that with this. And so what we're next going to do is, is I'm going to highlight this chain here with a little bit of a highlight, a light metal color. There. And I'm actually going to... Right there. 
Trying to give it look like it's been damaged. And I kind of like how it looks. I'm going to continue with that. I'm going to do just very, very fine areas. Not going to go too crazy with it. Okay, and then bring a little bit of, I'm actually going to leave that for now, and I'm going to leave the chainmail um, in the shaded format that it is, because I kind of like the look of like a dirty old um, chainmail look. I don't know, for some reason that just makes sense to me, so I'm going to keep it that way. And then I'm going to move on. I'm going to paint this little ring in the middle of his chest here. That's got the straps running through it. And the little studs on the leather straps here. Okay, and then going to move on to, let's see, what else do we need to take care of on this guy? Gonna need to take care of that, those little wings things on his thing. Take care of those parchment pieces right now, because parchment is easy. We're just going to use the same colors that we did when we were painting the parchments, the, um, I don't know, did we do any parchments? I don't remember. But anyway, it's a fairly easy um, color scheme to do here. Just once I... Where the heck did my colors go? I didn't even move any of them. Hmm. Alrighty, well then, while I try to think about where that went, I'm gonna we'll go on and we'll um, paint the skeletons here. And I'm going to paint them. Let's see. This bleach. This bone color that I like to use for skeletons and such. Because, actually, I don't know why I was looking so hard. I'll use this for the parchment as well. So, let's first take care of the parchment pieces. And then we're going to paint the skeletons here. And I do these first because, like with the armor before here, this way, if I make any mess mistakes with the brown color, it's just easily written off as just, oh, dirt got on them. Nothing really big. Nothing really to go crazy over if there's a mess or something with it. And then, boop. And going on after I did this, realized probably should have done the skeleton part before I glued them all together. I was not thinking. Well, I was thinking that's all done last, so for some reason that in my mind 
resulted in the idea of, oh, then I can do it once everything is completely done. Because that's what I usually do. All of my um, base-related um, project work tends to be last. And as you can tell, I very rarely do models that have a pre put pre pre like decorative base on them or when I do have them they're usually separated from the base piece so I don't think about it until so it's not something commonly done for me but we are going to do something a little different going to experiment again with this to see how it looks. So we'll see how this plays out. When we're all done. Just a few more skeleton bits on this guy. At least ones that I can see. Or at least what I would identify as skeleton piss piece okay then just fix up the parchment here okay now going to move on to a darker color for the earth and looking at them da, 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 da. I think I'm gonna go with this Actually, since I'm going to be trying this out anyway, let's give this a shot. I'm going to give them this really, like, this funky brown for the earth here. And like I said, what's going to be great is the fact that in terms of painting um, near the boots and such, I don't really have to worry about messing up any of the paint scheme there because it'll just give the illusion, it'll just give the look that he's walked through the mud or the dirt or whatever. So I can be a little bit more lax when painting these air this whole dirt mound here even on the bone as well it'll just give the bone this look like it's covered in some dirt which makes painting it go a little bit easier
Okay. Now, get in here. Like I said, it can be a little, as you can see. I'm not being super, super careful about making sure that, you know, oh, I only paint the ground and such. It's, um, I'm okay with getting a little bit of him, his boots dirty and such because, like I said, or this little skeleton guy that I'm working on, because it just helps give the illusion that we are, that we're dirt, that his boots are dirty. And that he's actually here and not a statue or sitting on some fake dirt or something. It gives him this illusion that he is here. And same with these bones and such. It gives the illusion that they're just being up or, um, pulled out from the earth type of thing. Doesn't look like, you know like they've been sculpted there or anything like that which is one thing I want to try and avoid if you're going for a sense of realism Now, finish working on this. And we'll be almost done here. Okay, and there we go. So now, with this done, next I'm going to do a shade wash of the brown, of a brown shade to kind of again give the illusion that the skeletons are stuck in the ground and um, the dirt is, and they're kind of like been in the same location as the dirt has. And just again, helps unify everything. So I'm going to take my wash brush. And with a nice helping, give this a... Nice coat.
Okay. So looking good. Then I'm going to just paint up these parchment pieces in this similar shade color. Not similar to the same shade color. Alrighty. Then I'm going to give that a moment to dry. And actually, while that is drying, and we're starting to slowly run out of time, so what I'm going to do instead is we're going to bring this guy back and finish up shading the, um, actually no, I won't shade that right now. I'm going to finish up the gold on this guy here. And even though I made that statement about, oh, I should, I should have done it this way first, I'm going to, just to keep things similar, do the exact same technique I did the last time on the, oops, sorry, on the, um, shoulder pad that he had. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. And then we're going to do a quick wash of the black on the green part of the armor here. Okay, and with that, we are out of time, so we will leave it there for now. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, Fearless Gamers, take care. Mm -hmm.